Hello family, I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm so happy for this video because I know that it's gonna help you a ton. Today we'll be making five delicious, easy, healthy, meal prep friendly, and affordable lunches. I asked you guys on Instagram what you struggled with the most at lunchtime to eat healthy. Many of you said time was an issue, you would eat too many carbs or you would go easily to junk food. Something that I highly recommend that you do is prepare your meals beforehand. So take one day out of the week and prepare meals for the next three, four, five days. This way, when you get hungry, you can go to the fridge, get your food, or you can take it to school or work. So if you're excited for these recipes, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below because I upload videos every single week. All right, let's get started with the recipes. The first recipe is a yummy chicken sandwich. The first thing that you're gonna do is cut your chicken breasts in half so that the strips are thinner. Once you have your chicken ready, then you can season it with whatever you want. I'm seasoning it today with some Himalayan salt, pepper, and oregano. Once you have your chicken seasoned, then it's ready to cook. You warm up a pan, put a little bit of butter. You can also add whatever oil that you want. I recommend avocado, olive, or coconut oil. We start to cook our chicken, cover it, and cook it on each side for around five minutes. Once the chicken is done, now we're ready to assemble our sandwich. For this sandwich, I'll be using a whole grain bread. I love the brands Ezekiel and Dave's Bread. On a slice of bread, I'm gonna put some Dijon mustard because it's my favorite mustard. You can also do yellow mustard or even mayo, whatever it is that you want. Then some lettuce, tomato, cucumber, chicken strips, and finally, diced avocado. You can also serve this with a simple side salad. I'm just gonna do some greens, cucumber, tomato, and a little bit of olive oil and apple cider vinegar. And here we have our yummy chicken sandwich, yummy, yummy. It looks really good, so easy to make, and you can meal prep it to go. Next up is a cauliflower fried rice. I'm personally a fan of cauliflower rice because it's satiating, it fills me up, it's super healthy, it's low in carbs, and I just simply love to eat it in so many ways. It's also a cruciferous vegetable that has many minerals. One thing that I love about all these recipes is that they're all plant strong. You'll be eating tons of veggies at every meal. The first step is making our cauliflower rice. For your cauliflower rice, what you're gonna do is take some cauliflower florets, you're gonna cut them into medium-sized pieces, and then put them in a food processor. You process it really well until it becomes a rice-like texture. If you don't have a food processor, it's fine. You can use a shredder, a cheese grater, or you can even buy cauliflower rice frozen. Just look for it in your local supermarket. Once you have your cauliflower rice done, now we're ready to make the rest. The first step is heating up a pan. First, we're gonna cook our shrimp. So you put your shrimp on the skillet. You can also make this plant-based and remove the shrimp or vegetarian and only do egg or substitute for salmon or chicken, whatever it is that you want. I'm gonna season the shrimp with just a little bit of salt and pepper and cook it really well for around seven minutes. Once it's cooked, then you set it aside. Now we're gonna make our scrambled eggs. So you crack two eggs on the pan and mix it well, scramble it a little bit, and once it's cooked, you set it aside as well. Now we take the same skillet, heat it up again, add a little bit of butter or oil, whatever it is that you want, 
and we cook our green onions. After around 30 seconds or a minute, when our green onions are cooked, now I'm gonna add some diced red bell pepper. This is going to add a lot of flavor and texture to our rice. After around three minutes, I'm adding the peas and carrots. These peas and carrots are frozen, so it was so simple. I just took it out of the bag, thawed it out, and that's it, you cook it. You can also find it canned. You cook this for around two minutes, and now we add our egg and our shrimp. The final touch is tamari or soy sauce. I'm adding two tablespoons, but you can add as much as you want or as little as you want. Mix it all really well, and once it's mixed, now you serve it. And here is our delicious cauliflower rice. It looks so good, and I'm so excited to try it. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, I loved it. So much flavor, texture. I made a lot of it and put the rest in a Tupperware. So this way I just keep it in the fridge and have it ready for whenever I get hungry. Next recipe is a delicious lentil salad. I'm a fan of lentils because they're a great source of plant-based protein and they're delicious. They're also rich in iron, which is great for our immune system. So for this recipe, you need two cups of cooked lentils, one cup of cherry tomatoes diced in half, some green olives cut in half, cilantro, and that's it for now. A little bit of salt, pepper, and mix it really well. Now we're gonna make our dressing. For the dressing, I'll be using the juice of one lemon or lime, one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of maple syrup, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, but you can use any other mustard that you want, salt, pepper, and you mix this all really well, and just like that, we have our dressing ready. Now you pour it on the salad and mix everything really well. Now we're ready to serve. On a plate or bowl, you add your mixed greens and then your lentil salad on top. Now optional, you can eat it with some boiled egg. If you don't need eggs, you can simply omit it. And here is our yummy lentil salad. It looks so good, super simple, easy to make. Let's try it. So good. And the best part is that it's meal prep friendly. You can make a lot of it and keep it in the fridge. For the fourth recipe, we're gonna be making some salmon lettuce cups or tacos. I love this recipe because it's low carb, it's satiating, it's nutritious, and salmon is so rich in omega-3 fatty acids that are great for our brain and our health. The first step is cooking our salmon. So you get your salmon filet, and I'm gonna cut it into small squares. Once you cut all of your salmon, now it's ready to cook. Heat a pan with a little bit of butter or oil, and now we're gonna add our salmon. Season it with a little bit of salt, pepper, simple, because we're making a dressing that we're gonna put on top, and it's gonna add more flavor to our recipe. Once our salmon is cooked, now we put it to the side. Let's make our cups. So you add a leaf of iceberg lettuce and add some salmon to it. Then cucumber to add some freshness and hydration to our recipe. Tomato, which is a great source of vitamin C. And finally, avocado, because it makes everything taste better. All right, now we're gonna make our dressing. We're gonna make a very simple vinaigrette. For this, you're gonna need one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, some paprika, salt, pepper. Mix it all really well and just like that, we have our yummy dressing. Oh, I also added some serrano pepper, and that's optional. Um, depends how much heat you can take or how much heat you prefer, you like. <laughs> and the best part is that it's really good. Eating healthy doesn't have to be boring. It can be really fun. The fifth recipe is a yummy taco salad. For this, I'll be using some grass-finished ground beef. So the first step is cooking our beef. You heat a pan with a little bit of butter and add around a cup of ground beef. Season it with whatever you want. In this case, I'm seasoning it with salt, pepper, paprika, and oregano. Mix it really well until it's fully cooked.
Once it's cooked, put it to the side. Now it's time to make our salad. In a bowl, put some lettuce. I'm using some iceberg lettuce. You can also use romaine. I think that would taste really good with this as well. Now some black beans because they're a great source of plant-based protein and a healthy carb. Then you add some yellow corn. This yellow corn is canned, but you can also get it frozen or even buy it fresh. You can sometimes find it organic. If you're gonna buy corn, make sure that it's organic. Some diced tomato. This is gonna add a lot of flavor to our salad. Finally, the ground beef. Now, let's make our dressing. For this dressing, you're gonna need a blender. So in a blender, put 1 4th cup of pumpkin seeds, around 1 4th cup of fresh cilantro, salt, pepper, the juice of one lime, and a little bit of serrano pepper. Blend this up really well, and once it's blended, now we can add a little bit of olive oil. I'm adding two teaspoons and 1 4th cup of water. Blend it really well again, and once it's blended, now it's ready to serve. I'm topping off the salad with some yummy avocado and the dressing on the side. This looks so good, so pretty, and I'm so excited to try it. Yummy, yummy. Done. <laughs> so here are five yummy lunches. I wanna know which one of these you wanna try which one's your favorite. If you make any of these recipes, upload them to Instagram and tag me at Yovana, hashtag Yovana fam. I love to see your creations and repost them whenever you guys tag me. I recommend that you try the cauliflower rice. That was my personal favorite. So let me know in the comments below which one you wanna try. I send you a big, huge hug. Thank you for being here. I send you my love, my light, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.